Crews have also removed the bodies of all nine victims from that site. Now the NTSB is working to figure out exactly what went wrong. We have live team coverage as the morning and tributes continue. We begin with KCAL 9's Chris Holmstrom, who's live in Calabasas with the latest on the investigation into that crash. Chris? Yeah, that's right. Those bodies were recovered today, but the big question remains, what caused that helicopter to crash into this hillside? Cell phone video shows the helicopter Kobe Bryant was flying in shortly before it crashed. David Lyudmirsky posted the video to Twitter as it circled in Glendale. About 30 minutes later, the helicopter made its way to Calabasas. Nescam video records the audio literally seconds before the crash. The loud bang is believed to be the helicopter slamming into the hillside. Inside, Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and seven others. Days later, fans continue to mourn. He's a good person. I'm very sad for he and his daughter and another person. NTSB drone footage shows the devastation that killed all nine people on board. As for the investigation, the NTSB has wrapped up their on-site work. We were there when they removed parts of the helicopter and other evidence from the crash site. From there, a truck hauled the pieces away for further investigation. A big part of the investigation will be weather conditions. What evidence do we look at to help make the determination of whether he should have been flying in this kind of weather? Well, we are going to look at the weather conditions. We're going to talk to air traffic control. We're going to talk to the company and uh, we're going to look at records. We are also learning for the final 12 seconds of the crash, the helicopter descended rapidly, hitting a rate of nearly 2,000 feet per minute. Another concern, the helicopter was not equipped with a terrain alarm system. It could have warned the pilot he was approaching a hillside. He missed the hillside by 20 to 30 feet, something the NTSB says should have been required by the FAA. And a final report of this accident will take at least a year. Reporting live from Calabasas, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. Okay, Chris, thank you.